Next up, we got rap advice. God damn. I don't got no advice for you motherfuckers. Sorry, let me talk shit. Hey, you do. What's up, Danny? I want to be a rapper, but I'm having a hard time finding my rap voice. I sound so fucking boring on a mic. Can you give me any advice? Peace, God. Um, That was one thing that I struggled with for a long time, was finding my voice. And then one day I took Adderall and that high-pitched shit came out. <laughs> but that was more so... um. You know, just listening to like Eminem and Lil Wayne and people playing with their voices and do a lot of different shit with it. But for the most part, man, I, I think um, the voice is kind of like the main, it's like the instrument. It's like pretty much the main thing. A lot of people don't care. Like like you say, you sound like, so that's something you just got to figure out yourself. I think it's just, it's trial and error for the most part because you can sort of like be a try hard. When you or hear someone, just like scream or some shit <laughs> 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 fucking screamo doing like hardcore band shit because some people use like the back of their uh throat right or like mm -hmm. the front of their throat or yeah like i feel side. like Nas was like a back of the throat kind of guy mm -hmm. i mean i think it all and it mostly and it more so go with um what you're talking about too i think that's what it really is like um like what you, whatever you're talking about lyrically i feel like the voice should kind of match that that's where i go go with for the most part like um when i'm happy and shit but that's kind of more it's it's kind of in me. Like when I'm talk, like sometimes I get excited you. about shit. It get high pitched. So mm -hmm. it's like I found my personality into me recording and making music and shit like that. But for the most part, um, yeah, the voice is kind of like the most important shit. I feel like, man, like a lot of because it's a lot of rappers, man. Lyrically, they probably ain't saying too much, but that voice is so fucking fire, man. Yeah, like um, you work with fucking Juice World. A lot, yeah, man. and I feel like he had he's one of the motherfuckers that had a fire ass voice, man. Oh, yeah, like yeah. his voice is fucking crazy. Like, even the singing Rest in Peace Juice World, man. Yeah, he's he was definitely, I feel like, out of like um, him, X, um, uh, them, the motherfuckers is legends. Like, they was gonna be like the they was gonna be the niggas. Yeah, I think he, um, when he passed, he had more plaques than Drake and shit like that. Really? Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't know. Yeah, but he he freestyle his ass off though. Yeah, I mean that's what I'm saying. Like he was really one of the motherfuckers. He was really a rapping ass motherfucker. It wasn't just, but just the fact that he he still could do like, I feel like he can get in a room with anybody and record. Yeah, like, I think his heart was just there. He yeah. just wanted to make a song. Love like, music, that was, man. Yeah, I think it was just like he just loved making songs, and that shit really just takes you to the next level when you're just not thinking about it. You know, like you're just like just doing it just to do it. Or I feel like he just mastered a flow state, honestly. Yeah, that's like really what it is real, too. A real perfect flow state where it's just like, and not even just flow like bars, just like mindset wise and just mentally, he was just, he was on another level. Yeah, he just tapped. I would in. definitely say that, man. Man, so yeah, like I, I got up on his shit, man. Like for the most part, like you know, cause you know they come out with songs and shit and see shit. But I really, once I started seeing them do like the fucking ten minute freestyles and shit like that, I'm like, oh, this that nigga, legendary. Yeah. This that nigga. And X, I, um, I used, to, I had talked to him a few times. He was like he was like super inspired by my shit and all that. But um he had told me like man, he had figured out the the hip hop shit first. And he was like, Man, once I learned how to do the hip hop shit, like just doing like the lyrical miracle shit, mm -hmm. he's like, everything else came easy. And I think um uh, like I looked at it like that, like, damn, that kinda make a lot of sense, you know? Yeah. Like once you learn that shit, man, everything else is like, you know, because now I feel like a lot of people don't even know why they rap. Yeah. Cause I, I didn't think I knew how to rap for a long. I meant not knew how to rap, but knew why I rapped. But then once I figured out what was my purpose with it, yeah, I think that's when you get like a flash. That that light bulb go off at the top of your head. You're like, oh, I get why I do this shit now. You know? Yeah, it gives you like that purpose. And yeah, that feeling, and man, yeah. that's that's really what it was. It was like, man, my whole like shit now. My whole shit now because it's at 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 this point, so many people want to do it, and so many people want to be rappers. Like I say, but it's more of a like because it's the cool thing to do. It's like a clout thing or yeah. whatever the fuck. But for me, it's like, man, I really. I didn't really learn how to do this shit. Like, it was just like a God-given kind of talent. So yeah. it was like, I'm not the person. I'm mostly sort of like a vessel. Yeah. That's how I feel like. Like, I the music be, finds you. Yeah, I don't even want to be like mm -hmm. on that shit. It's more so like a higher power kind of thing. Like, even me now when I sit no, down. but it's still some sort of like something out there that's different about yeah, it. It's yeah. kind of like finding like a mathematic equation. Like, you don't know what the equation is, but... You know that it's out there and you know that you have to mix certain chemicals and elements with certain things and you get the equation. But but also that's how I feel about like Monopoly and shit. I feel like, excuse me, if you break down Monopoly and you you could apply it to like a business module or something like that. Or you could apply like the pattern recognition to mm -hmm. like to some genius ass shit. I just feel like, I don't know, like I just see music like that. Like if you break down like little Baby Freestyle or something and you break down the patterns and stuff, I feel like you could apply it to like a company that 
wants to get their return of investment or some shit. You know what I mean? Like, I be seeing shit differently. Like, I be like, yo, there's some sort of crazy shit going on. But it's not necessarily spiritual, I feel like. I feel like it's just being aware of the unknown or something like that.